the program. We have a new background tape. Once again. Here we are. Programming. Yeah. It's Mark. Hi, everybody. TV land. Yeah, we're on TV. What happens here on the show? We turn on the machines, and then we start talking. And we'll be talking for an hour. It's Friday. Friday. Beautiful Friday. Yeah. At that. It's, uh, we're going to... I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to check some messages. Maybe make some phone calls. We're listening to what's the tape? Is the mixtape? Uh, it's Susan Cadigan, the album Hurts So Good. Oh. I've been looking for a real copy, but I just keep taping it off the internet until my tape gets eaten and then I tape it again. Oh. I've never seen an actual real copy of it. If anyone sees one, I'm interested if you got it. It's one of my favorite uh, Reggie music albums. I love Reggie. Reggie. It's one of my favorite genres. Yeah. All right. Well, we can check some messages. Dude, you know cool. what? Yeah. Uh, so I was just on tour. Oh, yeah? Um, you popped back from tour? Yeah, I did my Squirrel Meadow tour for Hard Water. Uh-huh. How'd that go? Oh, good. Oh, just so everybody things. knows, the cassette is actually out. I oh. have them here. The real, the the blue, they're printed. They look like they came from Kmart. Look at this, yeah. Yeah, look at that. It's like legit. Whoa. Real meadow, hard water. How did you? I didn't put it out. This is the first time I put out an album with some other label. I've been putting out Skrill Meadow albums since 1999. Whoa. This is the first one that I didn't make. How myself. many? How many albums are there? Skrill Meadow albums? Yep. Let me think about it. There's the Lo-Fi Explorations of Skrill Meadow Volumes 1 and 2. Those are the first ones, uh, which also became revamped as Hazmat Candle Smoke, which is the official third album, but it has a lot of stuff from the first two. And then I recorded an album called Magnopus um, in the summer of 2000. That was like a big tape collage with a bunch of friends. And then later that year, I recorded an album called Quasi Melodious Soundscapes, album number number five, and that was in Stockholm, uh, 2000. Uh, and then the next album I put out after that was called Hilarious Truck Lines, which was kind of a while. It took me a long time to make that album, and that came out in 2004. Um, then I made an album called Personal Robot. Oh. And an album called Challenger. Those came out both in uh, the early 2006. And then I made an album called City by the Lake shortly after I moved to Olympia. And I only made like 20 copies. I don't even have a copy of that. There's songs on City by the Lake, if anybody has that. There's some good songs on there that I don't have anymore. Whoa, you gotta um, find a copy of your album. And then, um, then after that, I did an album called uh, April Fool's Day, which was several years later. And then I did an EP called Half of This, Half of That. And then, uh, and then the next thing I did after that was Hard Water. I think this is the ninth Skrill Meadow album, if I counted right. Oh, what? What are uh, you don't know, have copies of your old albums? No, I, I have copies of most of them. I don't have City by the Lake, and I know I have Hilarious Truck Lines somewhere, but I don't know where it is. It's like I have a bunch of crates full of cassette tapes with masters, and it's in there somewhere. You gotta find it, yeah. The only one I... Well, I don't have my first album, the Lo-Fi Explorations of Skrill Meadow, but my friend Steve Irwin in Lancaster, California has a copy. He showed it to me. He's got the same name as the Crocodile Hunter. Oh, hey, really? Isn't it? He's Steve named Squirrel Meadow, too? Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter? Oh, Steve Irwin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He was around first before the other Steve Irwin was a crocodile hunter, I think. Oh, yeah. But, um, yeah, when that when that guy came out, it was a big deal. Everybody was excited. But, yeah, while I was on tour, I got engaged. I'm getting married. Oh, wow. I'm going to be wed in, Whoa. on July 28th. That's exciting. To, uh, the, to like my my sweetheart from back in the day, Lonnie Sarah Lynn Wild Honey. Hi, babe. We're, Congratulations. We're, thanks. Yeah, we're tying the knot. It's official. It's what I've always wanted to do is marry this particular woman. Oh, right. 
Um, we've been talking about it for about maybe we've been talking about it for like 10 years oh wow like one of these days you know when we get older we should get and i guess we got older yeah and one of these days happened i told her uh I, I asked her to marry me on april fool's day when i was on tour she lives oh, on, yeah. in arcada and you know she she went for it she went along with it so we're getting married but none of the people in my band believed me at first because uh-huh. it was april fool's day oh yeah i didn't tell my family till april 2nd good idea yeah yeah which would you go on tour with? I went on tour with Malika Dancinga. Um, I was doing double duty every night. I would do a Skrill Meadow set for about half an hour, 40 minutes, and then wait around a little while and then play again with Malika. Whoa, it was fun. I recorded some music in the back seat of the band. Oh yeah, let's hear some back seat music. Yeah, I'm gonna sing you guys a new song. Is your uh, it's about? It's kind of a song about how I'm getting married. I don't know if it's cheesy or not. I haven't had enough distance from it to know whether, um, like, we'll find out now. I but, guess. But I like I like the song. Um, is your uh, your uh, fiance there? Is she gonna come up here? She's moving up. Yeah, she's moving up here this summer. You all you all get to know her. She's gonna be a regular fixture. Does she come on the program? Yes, yeah, I I already told her today oh, she's good. coming on the program. Is uh, she's probably there? gonna watch this in a week when it airs. Hi, yeah, yeah. I oh oh oh. You want to come through? Okay, we can turn it up on here. Crank it up a little bit. Oh, that's In a, uh, in the van. In the van. In the van. I had a, um, I have a thing that used to be an iPhone converted to an I- iPod Touch. You know, it's got oh, a yeah. little drum machine built in. And I went to this thrift store in Ventura, California, um, the Retarded Children Thrift Store. Uh huh. And I bought a tape recorder and a cable Whoa. that could go from my iPhone to the tape recorder. And I just recorded my beats in the back seat with the headphones on and just, and then uh, would try out uh, new, new stuff. That, that was, that, that was sound, the one that I did a few times. That sounds the, the dice game sound. 
Oh, I like playing dice. We never done that on this well, show before. Yeah, we have a new thing. This is what we do on the show here. We don't we don't play the actual full dice thing, but we we just get a number. We gotta oh. find the What was the number? We I don't know. Yeah, we gotta re-roll the dice. I don't know what I did with the Should dice. Should we though. rewind the tape? No. The oh the it it wasn't on the tape. We have to roll it. We have a real dice somewhere. Well, you you can keep telling your story. I'm gonna find this dice. I wonder if Kenny would get mad if I ever hit stop. <laughs> oh, that'd be that'd be pretty crazy. <laughs> Has anyone ever done that before? Mess around with your equipment? He says no. Nobody's ever done it. Um, I'm looking here, and it looks pretty hard to control. Let's see. I guess it's recording right here. I'm just gonna hit pause for a second. Five seconds. World premiere of someone messing around with the controls. Sorry, Kenny, we lost about five seconds there. I pressed pause and then I moved, so it was like, now I'm here, now I'm Whoa. over here. First time occurrence. It's it's okay. All right, it's, I still, make it's, still, it, it's still recording. You got to take a note about it or anything? Yeah, I'm going to write a note here. I'm, We're going to write a number between one and six here. Okay. This is the the dice game. Man, next time I'll just bring my dice. I have a nice set. Yeah. Half of them glow in the dark. These ones are just dollars from the dollar store. Oh, you play with two? No, we're just going to play one. One? We're just playing one dice. Uh, the game is one dice, one roll. You just guess the number. Guess the number. That's I'm going to guess it's five. You got to write on your hand. That way that way we can... Uh, you s we can verify, we verify that it was really yeah, five. Because sometimes people don't want to write the thing, you know, and then they... Here it goes. See? Oh, it's a four. Oh, four. I, I was so close. I won. I won. What? See? What? You wrote four? Yeah. See, that's oh why God. That's why we, we write it down. Look, yeah, there it is. Oh, you bastard. All right. Well, I won the, this this. You round. won this time. We have several rounds, though, in the show. Next time. You might see what happens. Yeah. But I missed that other round. So you want a cookie? Yeah, you know. They're, uh... Can I we, can't... I can't... I can't believe I'm getting married. I've oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Before. You've never been married before. That's I've good. Never, I've never even been engaged. Do you have a ring? You know, um, I sent her when I was on tour. So I proposed while I was on tour, mm -hmm. passing through Arcata, where she lives these days. Um, and then I asked her what kind of wedding ring or what kind of uh, engagement ring she wanted. She said she liked turquoise. I like turquoise too. I actually, yeah. she's she's supposed to be getting me a turquoise ring. And um, but I got her one in Tijuana. So you I get matching a, rings. I got a good deal on it too. You get a good deal in Tijuana. We just had um, a band up here from Tijuana, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, San Pedro El Cortez. Mm -hmm. I played shows with them only in Tijuana, but I played mm. with them two or three times. Cool. They're great. Yeah. I really like them. San Pedro, what's up? They were on here, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Also, Donde Esta La Playa. They're, I, I think they're still doing stuff down there. All right. But yeah. Um, Are you going to get married up I here? Sent yeah. her, oh, no, yeah. we're, we're getting married on the El Mirage Dry Lake bed in El Mirage, California. If you've ever seen a car commercial, mm -hmm. you know that vast nothingness that they're driving around Well, on? it's cracks. Looks like there's like yeah, cracks in the, the ground cracks. stuff. Whoa. That's where we're getting married. <laughs> I lived there for two years from age 10 to age 12. The population was 540, and we bumped it up to 545 when we moved there. Whoa. You're going to run really fast, though, if you're getting married. You know what we're going to do? We're going to bring blindfolds for everybody that attends the wedding. Mm -hmm. And after the wedding ceremony's over, um, we're going to have everybody circle around. Whoa. But they're going to be facing out instead of facing each other. They're going to be circle start walking. facing around. And then you put the blindfold on, and you can run as fast as you can. Whoa. Blindfolded for up to five minutes without running into anything. Whoa. Yeah, and that's going to be part of the celebration. That I sounds think. fun. And then we're doing the, the wedding reception in um, Quartz Hill Mobile Home Park Community Center building, about an hour from El Mirage. So anyway, we'll, we'll see you all there. It's going to be on El Mirage Dry Lake Bed about 7 p.m. You got an RSVP if you're going to be down there and you want food because my mom and my stepdad, Bill, are going to be 
doing some nice barbecue. Oh. But, you know, Kenny's invited. Yeah, in California. And Kenny plus one. How far is California? Or is that northern, southern California? It's southern California. In it's May? about two hours northeast of L.A. Whoa. Maybe, um, yeah, there'll be a car. There'll be carpools down there. Mm -hmm. There's going to be some carpooling. That'll be fun. And then we got a we got a honeymoon. After that, I heard that's what you're supposed to do. And uh, you know, some hot springs or something for that. The hot springs with a with a cabin. Because we don't want like camp. You're on honeymoon. You don't want to be in a tent. Yeah, get a, a cabin. In the you want to have like a kitchen at least. That'd be good. This is a good logo. Oh yeah, this is our new background tape. We got these, uh, it's the grass, and the sun's going down on the tape. If you watch yeah. it, if you've ever seen this, it gets darker as it goes through. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. I'm running out of Worski. Uh-oh. Canadian Mist. It's all right. It's like there was a 595 bottle of whiskey. Yeah. And th for the same size, it was 745, and I just thought the one that was 745 probably would taste less like a crayon. Yeah. That's and what I was right. It doesn't taste like a crayon at all. The other stuff tastes like a crayon, like a wax? I know the $6 ones taste like a crayon. Whoa. And not even a Crayola, like like like, kinda a cheap the, like, a, like an airport crayon that you get in a in a kid's pack when you're flying on a plane. Toxic. Yeah, Maybe. toxic. Yeah. Yeah, toxic crayons. And then the non-toxic ones. This is like a non-toxic crayon for like $1.50 more. All it's right. worth it. What do you think about the alcohol law changes that are about to happen? Yeah, that's it's happening, happening soon. In, uh, I think it's happening in July. You're um, not going to be able to go to the liquor store anymore. They're going to be closed. Yeah. You're going to have to go to I'll Bayview Thriftway or Ralph's or Top Costco. Foods, Costco. You can just Walmart. go there. I bet Walmart's going to be yeah. in on that for sure. At the end of the day or at the, at the last day of the liquor store places, all those people are getting fired. I think they're going to go crazy and just throw all their liquor out. Maybe they give free liquor at the end of the day. Jeez, I, I, we got to be there. Yeah. What are you doing that day? I don't know. Yeah, get, We should find out right what day it is. We should go to the last day of the liquor store. Yeah, I bet like, they'll be. We should. The employees you know won't what? care at all. You know what we should do? We should film an episode in their parking lot on the last day. Yeah. So I think they would be down start. because they're like, you know, yeah, they're screw it. We're, anyway. we're, we're, we're losing our jobs anyway. Do what you want. Yeah, somebody did, called us about it well, like a couple of weeks ago, and they never answered the messages, but they left a bunch of messages saying how they're going to lose their job and how it was bad. Have you heard anything about whether it's supposed to be cheaper or more expensive? I don't know. I don't really buy that much liquor, but we can find out about that. Look at those. In California, it costs about, like, 60% the cost of what it does here. Whoa. But you can buy liquor anywhere like yeah. anywhere in California. So maybe like, it'll be cheaper then. Yeah. I mean I don't know. I'm really I'm really curious about it. I, I hope Trader Joe's does liquor because um, now that we have one of those here Do they have when liquor I lived in California Cal they had like the best selection. They've Trader Joe's as far brand as a with chain liquor? Uh, they have some of their own brands, yeah, and they also carry like a pretty, like a really nice selection. And they, when I lived in California, it was always like they had the best deals. Yeah, go check that out. Maybe in May or June. So Is they're all gonna, June? yeah, they're all gonna close down. It's kind of a, that's a, that's all I've never really known. I, I don't, I've never lived outside of Washington, so I buy liquor, go to the store. It's weird. So yeah, yeah. whenever I go to California, it's like a. You go to Safeway and they have a liquor section, at the, or the the Apple place that's not the Safeway. The they, there's a place in California, the grocery store that's like Safeway, but they have the same font. Oh, Vons. Yeah, maybe Vons maybe. is Safeway. I I use my friend Aaron's uh, Vons card membership. His telephone number is six six one nine four five three nine zero something. And it works for Safeway. And uh, it works for Safeway too. And so, I I always used his family's Vons club card when I lived in California because me and a few of my friends always liked to get the um, handmade sub sandwiches they had at their deli. Yeah. And it was like, if you buy five, you get one free. And so it was always a race. Oh, here's Mark's commercial for a Squirrel Meadow. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's my new album. Nar Tapes of Shit.
available now at your local music retailer. If you live in Olympia or Portland. I still haven't got to Seattle yet with it. This is a Janet Jackson cover. Oh. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either until Carl sang over I gave him the instrumental track, and he just sang the, these Janet Jackson lyrics from a song from like a year ago. Like a new Janet Jackson song. You want? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, the, the thing that happened was that I gave Carl this oh. instrumental track that I made. And um, he was like, well, I was, I, was wor I was trying to piece some lyrics together for it. And then I heard this song that my daughter was listening to. He has a daughter named CL. Hi, CL. And she, um, she was listening to this song called Rock With You, which is the same name as a song from Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson yeah. off the wall, but it's a completely different song. His was Rock With Y-O-U, and hers is Rock With The Letter U. Oh, yeah. Um, Modern. And it's, yeah, yeah. Anyway, he sang those lyrics over the song I gave him, and I was like, okay, so it's a cover song all of a sudden. Yeah. A cover song made out of samples of other songs. Whoa. So it's just meta, not me, but uh, I put it together. That's So I'm the producer, you know. Yes. Uh, how many copies do you have of that thing there? Uh, well, they gave me 50 about two weeks ago, and Whoa. I have seven left. Wow, they've been selling like they've been selling hot like cakes? Swedish pancakes. They've been selling like hot dogs, more like yeah. It. They've really been selling, and I got three of them on me that I'm gonna try to sell tonight at the barbecue I'm going to. How much are they? Five five bucks? Ten bucks? You know, f for you. Oh yeah. For you, seven. Seven. Um, at uh, the barbecue. I have a bootleg copy. <laughs> yeah, you already have a bootleg. Yeah. But it doesn't have the cool printing on it. You got oh, seven yeah. bucks on you? I have change. Uh, Let's do it right here on the air. Okay. You're going to get some money out. All right. You can give me your bootleg back, too. I'll sell that again. I'm going to buy it. You, are you going to do it? <laughs> I don't know. It's like the pressure zone. Yeah, I'm feeling pressured. I don't, I'll buy off air. I don't want to feel like people are going to try to sell God, me things. Come on. If come I on. Buy Just buy it. All right. Just buy it. If I buy stuff, I'm not going to buy stuff from anybody, though. <laughs> if I buy something on the air, then people are going to think I, uh, that they can sell me things. You can try to sell me things, though. If you guys want to sell me stuff, call, call the number there. Yeah, you can sell this for 10 bucks if you want to in, like, a couple weeks because there won't be any left. They're going to be all gone. Yeah? This album's, like, popping right now. There's blog the action about it. Oh, yeah? Um, there's... I'm going to have a rare copy then, huh? Yeah, you're going to have a rare copy. You could just keep raising the price a dollar a day. Yeah, I'll put it on the shelf here. This one's this one's yours. Now I only have two for sale at the barbecue. Suckers. So you can buy this tape. I mean, I guess I should buy it. We've been advertising it. I've seen the advertisement every single day for a couple of months now. So try to buy this one. Yeah, we're going to get some new commercials. I guess we could keep running this one, though, for a and while. You, the best part is that after, uh, after I leave... I'll have more whiskey, like, less than 20 minutes later. Yeah? Oh, good. Um, we can check some messages. Maybe we should play some of the tracks off the tape. Yeah, we can, we can do anything you want. I got, I got the boombox still hooked up. Yeah. I got these really cool tapes when I was in Anacortes, but I don't know if I brought any of them. I meant to. It's called East Side Story. It's like lowrider oldies, you know, where it shows, like, peeps in front of like old classic cars. Whoa. And it's just like recordings of all these like warped 45s from the early 60s to 70s. It's pretty disjointed collection of songs, but it sounds really good together. And the warp, I'm checking, the, I'm trying to Yeah, the, it sounds like the 45s they tape, they're all warped. Are you trying to mic that? Yep. 
Maybe we should use two mics. Oh, that's First new message from unknown caller. Hi, Katie. This is Dan Dobler. We're here doing a show. Uh, I had doing a show. Dan Dobler, he was here yesterday. He was here yesterday? Yeah. I got a bone to pick with that guy. Oh, you did? Call him. Who is the robot? Sweet call. Who is the robot? Yeah, we'll call him. We're going to return this call. I don't know if I want to get dramatic on him yet. I was I was trying to be pleasant with him, and he he was like "fuck you" again. What, Dan Dobler? Man, I feel like every time I try to talk to him on the street, he says "fuck you." He he hates me. No, not Dan Dobler hates me. I tried to give him a copy of that album for free because I respected him so much for being. Yeah, and he was like, "fuck you." I don't want that. I don't want that shit. Oh no, man. I, I w- huh? Oh, hey, Dan. <laughs> Dan. Dan, my hero. Yeah, how you doing? We're calling you. We're here with Mark. He's got a new tape out. Where are you? We're back, we're back in, the, in the garage. We got a tape with Mark. Mark's here. Hey, Dan. Good, yeah. to, s- good to see you. Yeah, is Heather there? No. Who's there? Mark. Mark, I'm that guy who I, I try to talk to you on the street once in a while, and you always say, fuck you, don't talk to me. But I uh, still like you anyway. Mark? No, not Dan. Uh, Mark? Uh, uh, yeah. You know, are, are, you, are, you, are you talking to me? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, I don't... Uh, I don't have to, uh, it's hard for me to have the strangers in you know? Yeah, you must have been drunk or something. It's okay. Uh, where, where do I see you? At the, uh, at the East Side Tavern. I do my laundry there sometimes, because I live downtown. Uh, you, 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 is that Dan Bennett? No, no, no. You, 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 you're talking about a different Dan. I don't go there. You don't go there. I don't yeah. go there. Oh. Oh, weird. I think it was Dan Bennett. Or somebody looks like Dan. Dan, you have a, uh, Dan has a brother. It's Freddy's dad. Oh. Uh, is it? Oh, is it Freddy's dad? I don't have a dad. Is he mean? Is he a mean guy? I don't have a dad. My dad, my dad passed away. Oh, no, Freddy's, Freddy's dad, like uh, Fred. Oh yeah. Wait, do you ever do you go to the new moon though? Do you eat at the new moon for breakfast? No, no I, I, I don't go there either. I, I don't go to taverns. I, oh. I don't go to taverns. Where do you live in Tumwater? Hawks Prairie. Hawks Prairie. Oh, Hawks Prairie is nice. I had some friends that were camping out there. Uh, yeah, yes. Yeah. The robot, ro- the robot, is that what you're saying? Yeah, what was the robot's called? Rudy. Rudy? Uh oh. Mark, this message is red. Press seven. You it's have a message CD all of a sudden. That was. Well, we messages. called them back. Wait, was that really Dan? That was, that was actually him. Who's this guy that looks like Dan that's telling me to fuck to off all the time? Yeah, who's that guy? To place a call, press two. Or to change your settings, press one. I'm sorry, I didn't catch well, it. So I, I messed it up. I gotta go back and do the thing to listen to more messages. Somebody's telling Mark to fuck off. Yeah, and me and Dan have been on the show together at least a couple times. Yeah. And so, he it all it just like catches me off guard when all of a sudden like I'm like oh hey he likes music it seems like he would be very happy I I was trying to, I was trying to give it to him for free and he's the only person he's the only person who wasn't actually on the album that I tried to give a copy to hey 
halfway through the program. This is the dice game again. Here it goes. You want to roll it? Yeah. Here, we'll roll it under here so you can see it down there. Boom. Two. Two. We lost. Oh, it's too bad. All right. Everybody two, lost. Two for too bad. I, 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 no, oh, can I? Oh, is Dan calling back? No, it's it's the messages. What are you doing on the tape machine there? I was going to tell you about some uh, singers. Okay. Should I do it right now? Uh, oh, right here. Let's listen to, keep listening to the messages, though. Okay. I think I missed my bus. Oh, no. I can drive you somewhere. Hey. Hey, Daily Hour, it's Freddy. Uh, I'm driving right. uh, to work, and there's a big fire truck outside of Trader Joe's. I was wondering uh, if anybody knows about that. Uh, there's a stigmata the, outside uh, Trader Joe's. 19th, April 19th, about 5.17, um, and there's a big fire truck with flashing lights outside of Trader Joe's here April on the 19th. west side of Olympia. So, I don't know, maybe someone got hurt, or maybe there's a fire, oh, no. there's a fire outside of the Trader Joe's. I don't know, what do you think? I wonder if the guest knows, I guess, you know, what is going on with that, huh? Bye. Well, here, the uh, back oh, here. Oh, whatever it is, it it's happened finished. like it's yesterday. You see it too? A week ago yesterday. No, oh, yeah, no, but viewers. he was just saying it's April 19th. Today's April 20th. Yeah. People were watching it on the 26th. 20th, yeah, it's uh, 27th. 27th? Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be Arts Walk. Are you going to do that? I'm playing. I'm playing at Arts Walk. Hey, Freddy. Hey, Freddy. What are you doing on April 27th? Yeah, we're going to air April 27th. April 27th, you come down to 301 4th Ave West. Do you remember that place, the Cornerstone? Yeah. Are you yeah. playing inside Do of you that? remember the place, the, the Crapery? Yeah, the place. Uh, all the little Ronies? Down. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that place. Amen. Yeah, yeah. I'm playing a show there. Inside of there? Inside of there for Arts Walk at 9 o'clock. Oh, oh it's, it's going to be and, an urban uh, space, huh? Yeah, we're just renting it for a night. It's Skrill Meadow. Arts Yeah. Skrill Meadow. Oh, awesome. and, and, and Malai yeah, Kot dancing on that. Yeah, come, come over. It'd be good to see you. Definitely. I'll bring candy. I'll be there. Oh, yeah, there, yeah. Oh, that's true. That'd be a good one. That's the first. Okay. We'll come. Maybe we can get my, uh, my, I, I've got an event coverage class that I've been teaching at CCTV. We're going to come cover the procession of the species. And so maybe we can, or not procession, I'm sorry, the, the downtown arts walk. Oh, uh, yeah. What, what time is that? Like evening or? Nine? Yeah, yeah. Our show, I think, starts at nine. Night? Nine. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. Like nine. ten minus one. Well, we probably won't film it with the class then, but, uh... I'll oh, man! Huh. Well, if you guys... I mean, we'll see what happens with the cameras. We're going to be filming down at Arts Walk, too, uh, the Daily Hour. Yeah, and earlier. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I'll come do a street performance earlier. Oh, yeah, you can come on the show, and that time you can do a show there. It's at, uh... Wherever Scott is opening... You know, Scott, he's opening something somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that. I know where it is. Oh, what uh, is it? You yeah. remember Reggie's Records? Oh yeah, I know where it's that It's in is. that building. Oh, what is it? Gonna, what is the opening? It's a store that sells stuff. Stuff. It's just like, like thrift stuff. Store? It's kind of like a thrift store, but it's also kind of like like whoa, what the hell is this store? Oh great store! I like stores. Yeah, it's 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 just like a plain old it's store. A general store. A general a, store. A, yeah. A buyery or something you can just. Sell anything. You walk in and you're like, "Oh, I need some, I need some shower curtain hangers." Yeah. And he's like, "Hey, I got some shower curtain hangers." Or like, "I need some baseball cards." He's like, "All right." Yeah. Well, you know, Alex is running that store with him too. You know, Alex Dechecko. Yeah. This seems yeah. like a good store. I like stores. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I just went in there. Like um, I don't know. if for anybody who's ever been to Reggie's Records when they were yeah, open. I, was, I went in there, yeah. I always wondered about the upstairs. Uh-huh. And I went and scoped it. And it's a ceiling that's just barely tall enough for me to stand up. Whoa. If I was an inch taller, I wouldn't fit in that room. Um, but they're using it for, like, just painting studio. I don't know what Reggie used it for when he had his record store. 
But I always saw people coming down from there having a good time. That sounds good. Yeah. It's all about the good times. Well, hey, Freddie, how's that, how's that production end coming? I think it's coming along good. Um, we should be able to, uh, we need to work on the background tape. I, uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, pretty much free, so maybe we can think it out during that time. I've got all the pieces together. We just need to, uh, we just need to put the finishing touches on and get them uh, printed. So uh, that's going good. We're keeping up with YouTube, and I've been uploading the, the commercials to the Your Daily Hour with Me web, or YouTube page. Oh, great. And all right. And uh, posting the full episodes and then, like, connecting them with the link. So, I don't know. It's going good. It's having fun. And uh, we got the commercials going on TGTV, and that's good and smoothly as well. So, I think the production end is still doing really fine. Great. All right. Well, thanks, yeah. buddy. We'll, I guess we'll talk to you later. All right. Have a great day. Have a good program. Are you in Portland? Is that, is that what I heard? No. We're no. in the studio. Oh, studio. Great. Cool. All right, bye. Bye. Adios. Returning to voicemail. All right, keep checking the message, how many we got. Next message from unknown caller. Hey, uh, this is Mark, the guitar player, hoping that you get the, uh, Mark. get the video. It's the other Mark. The videos. There's another Mark? And, uh, he plays guitar. Next message. Oh, that guy. He plays the metal, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, your daily hour with oh, I don't me. have a CD. Uh, young, oh, this is the number. Of, this is Scott. Calling. This is the message from Scott. We'll call Scott back. See if we can try to get his store. Yeah. I'm about going cool. on there next week. Are you gonna do an episode at his store? Yeah, we're gonna do the opening of his store. Oh, cool. It's opening on the 27th. So that's when on the day your show is there. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Some little crossover. Yeah. Arts Walk's pretty exciting. We're, uh, we're also going to go to um, the procession of the species, but we got to find a spot. Maybe we can... Does, it, does the procession go by Scott's store? Oh. Scott Young. He doesn't say his phone number. It's okay. Please record your message. we got to find a, a spot. Maybe we can try to find a roof spot for... Uh, I think you should do it upstairs. Hey, Scott. It's the program. Call us back. Uh, we're going to see... We, we're going to schedule for the 27th. Uh, yeah, okay. Scott. Um... This is Mark Lee. I was just calling to say that I miss you, and I hope to see you soon. And uh, if you guys do an episode there, I want to come. Yeah, that'll probably be on Friday. So you did you want to do the thing about singers? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Just all the good singers, you know. I just want to pay some respects, you know. I'm talking about Loretta Lynn, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about the Sons of the Pioneers, about Tammy Wynette, George Jones, Johnny Cash. Talking about Lynn Anderson, you know what I'm saying? Talking yeah. about the Statler Brothers, you know, the Shout out. Boys, Larry Gatlin and the Gatlin Brothers, you know what I'm saying? Talking about Ernest Tubb, talking about Dolly Park, even her little sister Stella Park, you know what I'm saying? She made an album once, I thought it wasn't that good, but it looked pretty good, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just talking about Eddie Rabbit, you know what I'm saying? Mixed up the slow jams in the country western, and the casinos. Doing this thing, Chris Christopher, you know what I'm saying? He's still rocking it. These concert tickets cost kind of a little too much, but it's worth it if you get the chance, you know what I'm saying? Talking about Merle Haggard and Brian Yoakum, Buck Owens, and Gene. Uh, what, what, what's her name? The, the lady that sang with Buck Owens? Uh, I don't know. Susan Ray. Yes, yeah, Susan, Susan Ray, Ray, you know what I'm saying? And the whole Bakersfield crew, you know what I'm saying? Nashville West. Shout out. It's right down the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I got to talk about Ghost Rugs, rest in peace, you know? He just died a few weeks ago, you know what I'm saying? And while we're at it, we on Helm. I heard he passed away today, you know what I'm saying? From the band. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's heavy. Yesterday, yeah. Yeah, yesterday. Just a drummer. Then, uh, 419, yeah, he was a good drummer, you know what I'm saying? We're just talking about, uh, you know, I, I really want to talk about Charlie Feathers. He really touched the place of my heart, you know what I'm saying? I just want to get out and mow the lawn, you know? Talking about a uh, uh, oh, red acorn. Oh, it's a commercial break. Oh.
immersed in the internet. Our computer monitor becomes an extension of our consciousness. Our computer monitor becomes an extension of our consciousness. We act like it's not true, but it is. You, you start to realize it becomes harder and harder to function. W. McCall, you know what I'm saying? Talking about uh, the Flying Burrito Brothers, Grant Parsons, Emmy Lou Harris, you know what I'm saying? Talking about Commander Cody and his last planet airman coming from LA back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Talking about Bill Monroe, Blue Moon of Kentucky, you can't top that shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, talking about Margo Smith, there, I said it. Talking about Sammy Smith, too. And talking about Tom T. Hall. Tom T. Hall, that's how I got to Memphis. And that's the only way I got to Memphis. Yet, you know, I, I'm talking about Wanda Jackson. I'm talking about Gene Pruitt. Satin sheets. Uh, that's what my thoughts do all the time. Know what I'm saying? Talking about Nolan Ryan throwing one hitters and no hitters and one hit wonder. Know what I'm saying? I'm talking baseball. I'm also, I'm, I'm still talking a little bit about, um, it, oh, what were they called, of, Henry, you know, Henry Flint and it, Nova Billy? Man, that, that's like the best country album I ever heard. Henry Flint's Nova Billy. Check that out on Yoga Google. Billy? Yeah, like, no, Nova. Oh, Billy. Nova. Nova Billy. Whoa. Yeah, Henry Flint. He, he, he was like the, uh, the avant-garde of the CNW scene come the fluxes oh, era, our country. hanging out with Yoko Ono and the like, but oh. totally, totally disavowing everything they did and saying that there's no art. Oh, you know wow. what I'm saying? Talking about Dick Curlis, king of the trucker country. Man, that guy wore an eye patch and drove trucks and sang about it. Wow. And so did Dave Dudley. You know what I'm saying? You ever heard Dave Dudley? He wrote no, six days on the road. You know what I'm saying? What does that mean? Six days on the road and he didn't make it, out. make it home tonight. He didn't make it out of the out of the road? Anyway, that's all I'm saying about country singers. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, that was pretty funny. Let's call Lewis. He's supposed to be on here tomorrow. I thought... His, oh, yeah. Saturdays. Saturdays, yeah. He's, he's like three doors down, though. Yeah, he's right down the street. Maybe it wouldn't, it wouldn't kill him. Maybe we can get him to run over here. He's not doing anything. I can go get him. I have to use his bathroom anyway. You think he's I'll there? Be, I'll be right back. You're going to make it? You have only about I won't come back empty-handed. Yeah, 15 least minutes. I'll somebody. Okay. Yeah, 15 minutes. Oh, oh. Oh, he Mark fell down. You see that? A little bit. He tripped on some cords. It's dangerous out here, yeah. Well, I guess we'll call, should we call him anyway? We'll call him and see if and it, maybe Mark's going to find him. Here he goes, we're calling Lewis. Maybe Mark can find Lewis. He may be working. Hey, Lewis, it's the program. Hey, how's it going? Hey, we're doing good. Are you home right now? Yes, I am. Uh, I'm home. Mark's, Mark's going to go find you. Okay. Mark's going to get grab you. He's going to tell you to come over here. Okay. Well, I'm going to meet him then. Maybe we'll just wait for you to get here. You'll be here in a minute. Okay, well, bye-bye. Oh, I see him. Oh, you, le you say you're leaving? Oh, there he goes. Well, thanks, Lewis. Here, let's call this McDonald's then, I guess. While we're waiting here for Mark and Lewis to come back. Here it is. I'm going to call this McDonald's in Utah. 
Say, hey, Utah McDonald's, how you doing? I'll be able to answer. Come on, McDonald's, answer the phone. You hear that ringing? Hey, McDonald's? McDonald's? Yeah? Do you guys have those orange milkshakes? Do you guys have the orange milkshakes right now? The what? Sorry? Uh, the Ar Arctic Orange. The icy orange? Arctic Orange milkshakes? No, not right now. Uh, what do you guys have right now? Oh, what is happening over there? Uh, oh, hello, McDonald's? I think we lost them. Oh, hello? No, it's still going. I don't know what happened. I think we did lose them. Well, alright, it's called the next one. This next one is uh, also in Utah here. When we don't have anything, we just call Utah. Say, hey, Utah. How you doing? Stuff like that, so. Oh, is that the. Oh, here's. It's Lewis. Oh, dang. This is. <laughs> he hit his head real hard on the. On the thing. Here's the. Uh, you just have to press stop. Oh. Wow. Hi. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, we're all blue. Yeah, we're all blowing that color crazy. Oh, yeah. Hey, McDonald's, do you guys have those orange milkshakes right now? Sorry? Do you guys have the orange milkshakes, Arctic Orange? Orange shake? No, we have only McFlurry. Strawberry? Yeah, shakes, yes. Yeah. Strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. Uh, do you know when you're going to get your next special flavor in? Uh, no. Sorry. Uh, okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hey, what happened to Mark? He's using the bathroom in my house. Oh, he's got to use the bathroom. Yeah, I just decided I'd get over here quicker. He said there was only 15 minutes left. Yeah. Yeah, only about 15 minutes, 10 minutes left. You gonna come on tomorrow? Yeah, of course. Um, I get up and work at 2.30. Oh, 2.30, that's a good time. I have to work, I work at uh, 4.30, so we should do the show at like, maybe 3. Yeah, that's probably right around the time I'll get home, so I'll just like come right over here. Yeah, sounds good. Um, next week is uh, the procession of the species. Oh, yeah. So we're gonna try to get, is Nora still have that space? Um, as far as I know, I... I think somebody is at that studio still. Um, I haven't talked with her in a while, actually. Somebody that we know. Maybe we call her. I think, did she share with Bridget Irish, too, right? I, didn't, I don't No, I don't think it's Bridget Irish. She wasn't in there before? No, I think it was, it was a different Bridget. Oh. Okay, um, well, I don't know who the other one is. We could find, uh, we'll call Nora, though, and then we can yeah. get in there. Do you want to call her? Yeah, let's call her and see if we can get in there, because remember last year, <laughs> it's going to be this Saturday, Procession of the Species, uh... It's going to be the second annual daily hour coverage of the procession there. Uh, yeah. Wait, what day is it? Today? No, the procession. The 28th? 28th. Oh, yeah, that's the day uh, Spencer's leaving really soon after that. He's going to have a big party. On the 28th? Yeah. He's, he's, gonna he's leaving on the 30th. He's going to compete, compete with Artwalk for the... Well, I think it's going to be afterwards. Uh, okay. So I, guess may, I guess it is kind of competing with Artwalk, but... Most of that shit is during the day. Wait, I actually, think. I don't know if it's going to be on the 28th because I was looking at the wrong month. That was January. <laughs> oh. But yeah, it's going to be the 28th. The same day as uh, April as in January. It's kind of. Yeah. Oh, like except January has one more day. Because I was looking, because I knew there's 30 days in April, but then there was 31 days. Oh, wait, today's Arbor Day. I haven't said anything about being Arbor Day for the uh, viewers. Uh, I plant a tree. Plant a tree, motherfuckers. Yeah. You find that number? Can you call Nora? Oh, yeah. We're going to see how Nora's doing. Maybe we get on this roof. Otherwise, maybe Do we... Do you want to call her from my phone? Yeah, it's call her from your phone. Because I've just been calling people from my phone. We c I don't know if, uh, if anybody else has a roof. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple people in that studio. I don't know who's in it right now. I know Greg Lee was in it at one point. You think, but she might still be in there. Yeah, I think she probably is. Rain, it might, 
hopefully it's not going to be raining. Last year we got lucky with the weather. Yeah. It's getting nicer. What, what time is the procession anyway? I think it's like in the afternoon. I remember last year we like missed it's half of it. Leave me a message. Uh, yeah. There's only one message. The mailbox is full and cannot accept oh. any messages. Never mind. <laughs> oh, Nora's message is messed up. Well, here, let's play the final dice game. I think it's about time. Oh, you gotta oh, get a number. I don't have a number yet. What was Mark's? I think Mark had a number five. Okay. All right, here, you... Um... Oh, well, let's get a... Where's the pen? I don't know. Can I just say my number out loud? Yeah, okay. Okay, three. Three, I had a four. Mark had a five, so... We're uh, in our order there. Man. Oh, yeah, so I guess I'll tell this tomorrow. So, oh, yeah, so did you already say about you and Kenny... Or, I mean, you and Freddie going to my work? E no. Okay. Well, oh. uh, it's four. It's four. I won twice. Two points for me. Yeah. It's, uh, oh, there it is. I won double one. Two points for me. No points for everybody else. I'm the big winner today. Yeah. Yeah, Mark's not gonna come back in time. He's probably fucking talking to Spencer. Yeah. Spencer doesn't want to do it because he doesn't want to do anything. He doesn't want to do anything. Well, he's he's packing, and he's just like, I just started packing. I gotta keep packing. Oh, look at that car. Oh, it's green. Yeah, we have the... I pulled out this old machine. This is... Oh, there he the, goes. Um, there he goes. From before, there's Mark. Hey. Hey, Kenny, okay, did you celebrate 420 yet? Yay. Celebrated? Yeah, yeah we're all green. Time. Yeah, look at this. Okay. You guys having a party last week? How many viewers? We're on late at night. I bet a bunch of you guys are crazy. The crazy viewers out there stay up late to watch TV. And Mr. Ginsu said he had his, his medical card there. Oh, cool. Maybe we should call Mr. Ginsu. Well, yeah, we have to, 10 minutes. We can call Mr. Ginsu. Whoa, look at that. This is, yeah, this is what we're doing for the special, the special day. Oh, yeah, also an interesting thing I could elaborate on. So, oh, okay. Well, I don't know. It's like I probably shouldn't be saying this on the air, but I was witness to a robbery at my work the other day. Whoa. That's, yeah, you, you already said it. What, what, what yeah, just like, I don't know how much, like, personal details. I mean, I guess it's like whatever. But yeah. I guess it's, yeah. What happened? Did Someone just ran out. With the, and with like, the, I mean, purse? what? With, with money? No, with, like, power tools. Well, were they, I heard that you can't chase them or something, right? Yeah, or? that's true. You're not supposed to chase them. Somebody like, told me that you like, should... You can't really, like... Unless they're, like, actually out the door, you can't even really say, like, Hey, I think you're gonna steal this thing. Whoa. Or you'll... Like, you'll get fired. Like, immediately. That's what, uh... I heard that... Somebody told me to do that at Best Buy. Because, they don't, yeah, that they have a no-chase policy. So if you can get in there, they won't chase you. And they're not even allowed to chase you or something. Yeah, well, I mean, it's like all the big companies, I'm sure, have insurance. But it's also just, you know, it's like liability things. Like if a worker gets hurt chasing somebody down, then it's like a huge liability for the company. Oh, yeah. And what if they tackle? tackle yeah, or like the, the person, if you like touch the person who's trying to steal and then... It could be. Uh, <laughs> and then they get hurt. Like, but it's like a it's bigger liability. Or like... I feel like I've heard about that happening. Like someone, like someone who was like doing a home invasion, like sued the person who they were invading the home of because they like retaliated and they got yeah. hurt. Yeah, or they, they, that's the big the suing, getting sued thing is you're just walking down the street and you or, or you're walking through somebody else's yard. You're not supposed to be in there and you trip and fall on their stuff and then you sue them for it, right? Yeah, it's pretty fun. People going too crazy. That's I'm trying to do that as often as I can. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, you want a cookie? You're tubular. Are you going to try to go to California for Mark's wedding, Lewis? When is it? June? July 28th. July 28th. In California. I got to see. I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be employed at that point. I probably will be. If you're not employed, it'd be an easy excuse. Yeah. I yeah, mean, you won't have any obligation. Get a vacation day. You would just have yeah, to steal a bunch of money to get down there and back. Well, usually I would just like have future money. So I just oh, go yeah, future more, money. Go more into debt. I gotta get into that. That future money. Into debt? Yeah, just like, you know, use your credit card. 
It's like, I don't actually have this money, but hypothetically, I will in the future. It's true. Yeah, try the debt thing. Yeah. But, I don't know. I mean, I think if I was going to go to California, I'd probably just stay there forever. Yeah. Oh, you were going to move to L.A., right? You know I, I, I guess. I have some friends in L.A. that you could make friends with. Yeah. Yeah, you there's some friends, Devin. Yeah. Devin. And, um, there's Melody. There's Steffi. Um, Tom Cruise. Sandor. I don't know Sandor. Sandor. Though. But he's, he's a cool guy. He's friends with Arrington. Oh, uh, okay. I met him at an Amps for Christ show like 10 years ago. And then he stayed in his house a couple years ago. Oh, of course. Cool. Yeah, I mean, it's all... I don't know. I don't know how... I'm Timmy? Gonna... What about Timmy Jordan? Timmy Jordan. I don't know who that was. Timmy Jordan's great. There's a yeah. lot of people in LA. Yeah, he there are a lot. Video games. Oh, that's oh, cool. He makes them? And he makes music. He mm. makes music and video games. How do you make video games? Bit, I don't make... know how he makes video games, but he's been working on it for a long time. He's on the been computer? Working on... He's been working on one game for a very long time that keeps on getting more complicated because technology kept, keeps increasing. Mm-hmm. Well, what is he going to do with the game? I don't know. Apparently, I'm one of the characters in it, though. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Oh, um, are you going to see Andrew Ebert anytime soon, Mark? Yeah, I'm probably going to see him today. If you want to okay, know. well, I already sent him a text message about it, but he got a jury summons sent to my house. Oh really? You got jury duty? To take it to him? Uh, maybe. Yeah. I jury can, duty. Lewis lives right there. Yeah. Yeah. So I could just go to your house and get it. Yeah. Have you ever done jury duty? I've never I, done that. I never have. I've gone to jury duty, but I've never actually been called in for it. Well, they, I, I, I mean, just been in the waiting room. That's uh-huh. as far as I ever got. So I mean, jury duty, like, do they have a bias towards people who are like gainfully employed, or is it just like anyone? They have. Um, their bias is like if you say you're like part of a controversial political movement, they won't let you be on the jury. Hmm. Um, I'm part of a controversial. But that's all I but, know. That, but that's after you're already in the office, or yeah, just like, that's once you get there. So literally anyone can get the letter. Anyone can get the letter. So then it's they, they try, to, they try to stop you. The lawyers. I, as far as I know, I've never gotten summoned for jury duty since I've lived in Olympia the past five or six years. Yeah, well, because how does it work? Because, like, I'm a Minnesota resident, but I've lived here for, like, five years. So, like, I, mean, I guess I would just send it to my parents. Oh, uh, one minute left. One minute left. Yeah. What about, uh, what were we supposed to call some guy? Ginsu. Oh, yeah. Mr. Ginsu? Uh, yeah. I think we have to call. We'll have to talk to him later. Tomorrow. I think we did enough. We had a good show today. Mark was here. We talked to Lewis at the end of it. We're going to get down to it now. Will you give me a ride to the barbecue? Yeah. Cool. Maybe I'll get a Are you going to Ricky's barbecue? Yeah. You want to come? I'm going to this other thing. Other this barbecue? Other it's boring. No, it's the, not. The other thing You're is boring. Wrong. so boring. It's, it's at my neighbor. Thing. I'm at my neighbor. It's at my neighbor's house. Next you- door? Yes. They're like three doors down. What? I don't know the neighbors three doors down. I used to live at your house. Well, they're new. They've only been there for like Dude, a little while. In the hood. Yeah. So Mary lives there. She's already been on the show a couple times. Mary who? Mary Callum. And Sean. He was on the show. He's a Tumblr celebrity. Okay. I don't know what that means. Bye. Bye, everybody. Yeah. Love you. Yeah, thanks everybody. Thanks Facebook. Check us out on there. Huh? Don't go on Facebook. Delete your Facebook. Delete your Facebook. Delete your Facebook account. I don't know. That's it. Thanks Twitter. Delete your Facebook thanks, account Twitter. now. Mark's on the crew, I think. Are you? Yeah, there you are. On the thanks, the Bay Bay. Thanks, viewers. That's you. I have to get you. Thanks for watching. Thanks, TCTV. Thanks, La Bebe. Hell yeah, dog. Hell yeah, Hell yeah dog. Bye bye. Shame on you. Shame on you. Delete your Facebook account, yeah.